hey guys welcome back to my channel so i got a video request to do um a video on what i wish i knew going into med school so i kind of switched it up and did what you should know going into med school so i'm kind of just gonna do like a rapid fire list of things that i feel are important to know before you start medical school or before you consider medical school so the first thing you should know is grades are not everything. In undergrad, it was so important to make straight A's. That's how your, I guess, level of how good of the student you are, that's what you were judged on, uh, you know, your GPA. In medical school, it's not the same way. You can have straight A's your first two years, then you get to third and fourth year, and you don't really make a good clinical student because maybe you lack the social skills, you lack compassion, you lack empathy. So don't think coming into medical school um, making straight A's, making the best grades is going to be the most important thing. It's not. It's about your interaction with people, how well um, you can relate to others, um, how you empathize with others, and just how you treat your patients. So grades are not everything. The next thing you should know about medical school is that it's not about how smart you are, it's about how hard you work. When you get to medical school, everybody is smart. You know, you're there for a reason. Smart, your smarts is not gonna, is only gonna take you so far. You know, you need to work hard at what you do. You know, some people come in and struggle their first year and it's not because they're not a smart student, it's just because maybe they don't know how to study well, you know, maybe they're not working hard enough. When you get to the clinical rotations, like I mentioned before, it's not about making good grades, it's about how hard you work to learn about your patients, learn about the disease process, learn how to manage this, to learn just how to be a better person. So again, hard work is gonna trump intelligence oftentimes. And you can get to your clinical rotations or you can talk to even your professors and they'll let you know. They'll rather take a student that works so hard but has to be taught a lot rather than a student that is so smart but is unwilling to work hard. So just remember, work hard the next thing that you should know is do not compare yourself i feel like undergrad and the pre-med environment is just like so cutthroat everybody's worried about your grades what you made in your mcat where you're applying do you get interviews this and that and it's just I don't know it can be like a toxic environment at times when you get into medical school depending on what school you're at that level of competitiveness and comparison can still continue but comparison is only going to do you harm at the end of the day it's about how well you're doing it's about how well you're doing your courses about what you're learn about what you're learning and how well you're going to treat your patient so there's no point in comparing yourself the next person may um appear to be doing well but you never know what they're going through i mean it's just important to stay in your own lane uh let other people do what they're doing and just focus on yourself you know everybody has their own path and it's important to know that um your step one may be somebody else's step 10 like you can be in first year and feel like oh my gosh they know so much but you don't know their prior experience and what what knowledge they came in with so comparison will do no good the next thing that you should know is that you do not have to be a science major to apply or be accepted into medical school but you should know that some of the upper level science courses that you take can help you in medical school maybe like the first one of the first year maybe the second year like things like genetics or things like microbiology um you know in the beginning you can kind of have an advantage of you know just having that background knowledge and eventually it'll even out but that is something to know you don't have to be a science major but it can be beneficial your first two years the next thing you should know is that life does not pause while you're in medical school. Four years is a long time. Things are going to continue to go on. Uh, there's going to be marriages. There's going to be baby showers. There's going to be um, different events that you may have to miss out on. Um, life still continues to happen. And, you know, you may have a flat tire. You still have to pay bills. You know, you shouldn't just be single minded and just be student only. Other things are continuing on around you. It's tough to balance, but you do have to manage those different things. Um, you can still enjoy your life. That's very important to know as well. You just don't have to be single minded school, school, school. Yes. School is your primary focus, but you are still a person and you still need to balance and keep your sanity, keep your mental health, keep those relationships going. Going So, you know, life does not pause. You know, you can make time for other things. You can make time for a vacation after, you know, uh, maybe an exam block or after um, a semester or things like that. I try to fit in um, some type of, you know, uh, travel every time I have a break. Like at the end of first year, I went to Mexico with some friends. And after I took step one at the end of um, second year, I went to Cuba. So it's important to know that, you know, life continues. There is time to have fun. But there again, there will be sacrifices that's made during your four years in medical school the next thing that you should know before starting medical school is that it is very doable you know a lot of people have self-doubts coming in going into my first year i wasn't sure if i'd be able to handle the, co uh, the coursework of medical school you know i wasn't sure how well i would do um you know 
people may give you advice and it may be scary advice about how impossible it is but it's not impossible there's a uh, hundred thousand of people that did it before you you know it is doable it's going to be hard work but it's important to come in and have a right mindset and you know form good study habits early and you know just work as hard as you can but it is doable the next thing is to have the right perspective you know it truly is a privilege to be in medical school and to practice medicine and to learn medicine um you know your preclinical years your first two years it feels like it's a drag you're just waiting to finally be a third year student a fourth year student to get into the hospital start practicing medicine being a clinical student you know there's steps to this and i feel like appreciating every year will make you appreciate um you know the journey as a whole you know having the perspective of i'm in the classroom i'm learning about these diseases and it's going to help me in third year and fourth year and continuing on to you know becoming a good doctor so it's important coming in to just have that perspective don't just try to rush through the first two years you know take the time to really appreciate what's going on around you the classroom time as well as the hospital time the next thing that you should know before starting med school is that balance and self-care is so important. You know, you can't just come into medical school and neglect yourself over the four years and think that, you know, when you become a doctor, you're magically going to figure out how to balance, you know. It's an ongoing thing learning how to balance your life, so it's important to continue those good practices throughout medical school. And the final thing that you should know before starting medical school is that learning is self-directed and your education is your responsibility. Yes, you may be paying up to 30000 a year per tuition, but at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to learn this material. It's your responsibility to do the best for your patients. So it's going to take a lot of independence and a lot of self-learning uh, self to really succeed in medical school. So don't be shocked when you start your first year and it's just like, whoa, you know, I'm figuring this out kind of on my own. Of course, your professors are always there to help you, but it's your responsibility to take charge of your education. So those are some of the things that I feel like you should know um, before you start medical school. Um, in the next two years and I'm done, I feel like I'll have more to add to that after I'm done with my clinical years. Um, you know, medical school, it's, it's a journey. It is doable. It's an exciting time. It's a challenging time. And, um, you know, if you're considering medical school, I wish you the best of luck. Um, if you just got accepted and you're starting your first year this year, congratulations. Um, you know, if you have any questions or any comments, just leave it below and I'll try my best to answer all of them um if you uh, thought this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys